Alright, so this is Kate, the Lost Big Bang Pal, Kate Austin, Series 1. This is Kate in her Dharma Initiative outfit. Somewhere over the Pacific Ocean, a plane crashes on a seemingly deserted island. 48 survivors with little hope of rescue. The passengers of the ill-fated Oceanic Airlines Flight 815 didn't know it, but they would be tested to their absolute limits. Each boarded the plane with the hope of somehow escaping their troubled lives, only to find themselves in a strange place beyond their wildest imagination. Stranded in the middle of nowhere, these strangers had to find somewhere to live together or surely die alone. Um, this is the back of the packaging. They are exactly the same as Jacob's. This is the front of Jacob's packaging. You can see here it's got the man in black, Jacob, uh, the black rock, and just some island scenery. Uh, so this is Kate's packaging. She's got a Dharma logo, um, some people there, a uh, picnic table, um, some other stuff in the background there, some island scenery. Um, so this is obviously the Dharma initiative. The other figures in the wave are Ben, Kate, Locke, Hurley, Jacob, which I have, the Man in Black, which I still really want. Uh, unfortunately, the packaging is bent a little bit uh, due to the box that it was in. It's kind of a shame because I really like the look of the boxes. So once you take the uh, figure out of the packaging, you can see the background a little better. It looks like a recreation of the scene from the episode Namaste uh, from season 5. So it's got a banner there, Namaste New Recruits. Um, you can see some silhouettes. I'm sure one of those is Hurley, Jack, and Kate. Um, you got some person over here holding a water bottle next to a bench. Got a little gazebo there. So yeah, that's just so you can see it a little bit better. Alright, so this is uh, Kate out of her packaging. Um, very nice, actually. Um, this wasn't one of the figures that I was uh, most looking forward to. The two that I was obviously looking forward to were uh, John Locke and Ben. Uh, Kate was probably the one, one of the figures that I could do without. Uh, Hurley is the one that... I don't really like too much, uh, so Kate was Kate definitely looked better than Hurley, and I've just gone off on a tangent. Uh, first off, I'll talk about the face. Um, unfortunately, my Kate has a problem, and that's her eyes. Uh, they're painted going in different directions. This one's kind of looking off that way. This one's just kind of looking off straight. It's not too big a problem, because it's not that noticeable. But it does detract from the overall look of the face. Uh, they've painted on uh, freckles on her face, which is very appropriate. Uh, the rest of her face looks uh, very good. Um, I think the lower half of her face isn't as good looking as the upper side of her face. Um, the top half, I think, looks a bit better. Um, there's also a slight problem with her neck. And, uh, as you can see here, it's kind of, it's not loose, uh, it's definitely in no way loose, but you can see it's kind of, if this would focus, kind of popping off a little bit. Uh, it's not that big a problem because I don't see it falling off, but, um, it is a bit noticeable. Uh, the figure's hair is done in plastic, usually, um... Figures in this style, the Amigo style, usually, female anyway, have kind of like actual hair. Uh, this is sculpted on. It looks very good. Uh, I prefer sculpted hair than kind of fake looking hair. So, yeah. Um, pretty obvious that uh, the figure uses a different body type than uh, the male figures, since Kate's obviously female. Uh, she has a smaller body, her arms are skinnier, her overall body is skinnier, and she is shorter. 
Also, it seems that they've kind of fixed the heads uh, because Jacob's kind of has a weird color to it. And um, hers is much, much better uh, kind of cast in plastic. Uh, this figure is called Dharma Initiative Kate. Uh, it really didn't need to because um, she pretty much always wears the same thing on the island. Just a um, kind of regular shirt and pretty much regular pants. Uh, the shirt looks very good. It's pretty much the same kind of feel to it that Jacob's shirt did, which is pretty good. Uh, her pants are the, this brownish, greenish color. Um, very nice. It's obviously very accurate because she pretty much always wears these pants. Uh, she's got a pocket here. Um, flips open, but there's no actual, you know, pocket or place to put anything. Because that would, that would kind of be a little silly. Now, unlike Jacob, Kate is wearing shoes. It is just a regular brown shoe. Um, it is removable. But I'm not going to do that. Because there's really no point. Uh, the shoe is actually fairly detailed for, you know, it being a shoe. Uh, because of her hair, um, her head cannot move. Um, which is okay. Um, yeah, that's really the only disadvantage of the hair, and that, you know, it's just that you can't move the head at all, which is a very minor problem. Uh, as for her body, her arms can go up. That was weird, because it was the, uh, band inside kind of popped, but it's not like it's broken or anything. Uh, so they move up, they move at the elbow, at the, whatever you call that, the, oh, why can't he think? Uh, apparently I've turned into an idiot because that's her wrist. Uh, her legs move, um, up, bend there, so that's pretty good. Also, I forgot to mention that there's a Velcro belt here, so you could take her pants off, but that's extremely bizarre. So, even though Kate's not a fantastic figure, um, really the only problems that I do have is with her eyes and her neck. Uh, but other than that, she's a really good figure. Um, obviously an essential for, you know, character-wise. Um, definitely not my favorite of the bunch, uh, but also not my least favorite of the bunch. Which is a good thing.